Last week, we began a mountain adventure chasing Miriam's northeast of Santa Fe, New Mexico. Lake Pickle kicked off our hunt with his first ever white goblin. Thank you, Lord. How pretty was he? Then Brad Ferris and I arrived to keep it going. And what a hunt we had. That's a mountain goblin. And what a fun week in the mountains. This is the best week I've ever had near my. Primo's Truth About Hunting is brought to you by Bushnell, Savage, Federal, Matthews Archery, Rage, Mossy Oak, Squincher, Polaris, and Primo's Honey, Speak the Language. There's something very, very special about being out west. To see some of God's greatest creations with your own eyes. To be blessed and fortunate to hunt these beautiful turkeys in this vast open country. These all are memories that flood my mind each day as we prepare to head into the field. As we head out on another fun adventure. Just about the time we stepped out of the truck, turkeys are gobbling. We don't have time for much of a plan. We just make a mad dash for the end of a big rock wall. Hopefully, we won't bust them. And maybe we can call these gobblers down the rock formation to us. Hurry, Brad, hurry. I hope we didn't bump them. No, no, we didn't. They coming this way.
that stump was when you were counting to three that stump was right in my way that one stump out there oh but i wasn't gonna stop it it was too pretty. I'd rather you had a perfect shot than me than get greedy and try to get two of them. Dang it, man. I thought I'd to go. I could just see the top of his head. Dang and it. I just, you see that stump that's cut off? He just there? ran off. Yeah. No, the one that ran off is the one you shot. No, it wasn't. <laughs> <laughs> Ooh, How about that, Lakey? That's awesome, wasn't it? They were hammering just, and that echo, I mean, we're up here at 9,200 feet. Wasn't there three of them, but I never I, saw but two. I thought it was three, but I didn't see but two. <laughs> Where, where's that turkey lab you got? <laughs> <laughs> we use these rocks to navigate to get to right here, and it couldn't have been any better. I was scared to death. Y'all kept him get right there. He don't see us. I thought they were like 50 yards right there. Yeah. Did you hear his wings? I heard his wings before I even saw him. I, 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 did you hear me say, where is that? Yeah. I thought it was like right here. He had to have been 150 yards when his wings were Unbelievable. Were yeah. I mean, we're at 9,200 feet. Wouldn't you say this is a, a pure strain of Merriam turkey as it no probably doubt. is? Yeah. Up here with the elk. We're going to be back here in September. In the, in the hunting season up here, 1st of May, and start it back up here in... September is pretty special. Right. And they, Let's go find them though. Yeah, shoes, that's, that was fun. That was good. Hey, once again, it was fun being up here with you. Troy and Lake right here with us. What a good time we had. <laughs> Thank you guys. Yeah. Nice work. This segment of The Truth is brought to you by Hide Spot Quivers, Black Gold, and Ripcord. inside the woods, see if we can call him around his edge right here. Going further away? Yes, I just heard him. 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 She not far. How about that, Lake? You took it. So you got right there and right there. I wish they heard get back. He should have been back by now. You know, Brad, he jacks around. I told you, that joker had caught up a turkey and shot a turkey at the truck. <laughs> Unbelievable. You can't leave him go nowhere by himself. 
That dirty joker. Hey, I got a toy and we're really gonna give us such a hard time. Check that out. We were going to get the truck and Lake said, I'm going with you. And I said, I'm taking my gun. <laughs> and look what we did, Lake. <laughs> that was awesome, dude. They came perfect, all them jakes and that soft calling. And we got him fired up and he was tearing it up. He's about a beard, about like the one Will shot. Goblin son of a gun when he come. He was, God, that last time he gobbled when I couldn't see him. <laughs> That was fun right there. I said a minute ago, we're 9,200 feet. We're, we're, and we're in elk country. We elk hunt in this same country right here. Same area, same elevation. And to come up here and hunt Merriam turkeys in early May in the same places that we chase big bull elk in the fall, special time. Mm -hmm. Yeah, <laughs> I heard that old 12 gauge go boom. <laughs> Ah, uh, I was hungry. I were I mean, we were. Me and Lake Lance said, Troy and Will are going to give us. Oh, yeah. yeah. It was great. That. that is awesome. Well, I think yours is a three year old turkey, and this is a two year old. Dang. Look, we, we walked up, we came up the hill right there where it opened up, and I took took my little trusty box out. Oh, baby. Yelk, yelk, yelk. Nothing. Yelk, yelk, yelk. Nothing. Pop, 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 pow. Two of them gobbled. They were all balled together, and finally, and I had a perfect one, and I shot them. I, I had to wait. Because I, I, I was worried. I didn't tell them what they were looking shot. for you. Well, no, they were all together. Yeah, looking. And I had to wait till the Jakes got out of the way so I could shoot. That was awesome, though. I I said, Man, it's sure taking him a long time to get the truck. Boom! <laughs> <laughs> Woo, what a morning, y'all. Man, that was great. I can't believe y'all at the truck. <laughs> I told Lake to come on, he brought the camera. Oh, your ears turn red. <laughs> now, pull it off. Pull it straight up. Here's the brown part. Not the black part. That ain't no big enough stick. Yeah, it is. Turn it around. I don't think so. Somebody, somebody had to work at that. <laughs> you go get it. Y'all do that to a fella. We do. We, we only do it to, to find folks like you. Yeah. <laughs> I don't want your snot rag. We got that out the toilet. <laughs> it's clean though. All right, blow that thing. How come I keep falling for y'all crap? <laughs> <laughs> we always thought Jimmy was gullible, but you're pretty good. I think what it was is you was you was really excited that we asked you to bugle. I was. And you was hoping that one would answer. Y'all ain't gonna let me even play today. <laughs> the first one I tried to do as soft as I could, I thought that was pretty soft. That was soft. good. Well, I man, I did it really soft. <laughs> <laughs> opportunity to have you call me a turkey up. Give me your yelp. <laughs> Give me all your yelp. Give me all I'm your I'm not going to call. Yeah. No, I'm not. Like a, yeah. I promise. You know, you'll have to at least do one call. Oh, yeah. <laughs> you do more than I'm that. just going to cluck when it's time to pull the trigger. Yeah, I promise. No, you ain't. Well, we went back after, the, after such an incredible mm -hmm. morning that we had this morning with you guys and 
Y'all graciously said that I could hunt this afternoon. Even though y'all didn't even know that we were up here with hunting licenses before y'all even got here. Oh, we knew. Hey, that hey, wasn't very graciously. I said, I still got a tag. He said, yeah, but I got the gun. <laughs> <laughs> Off he goes. God. God, this turkey here is the one we've been seeing from the house. Seeing him and hearing him. I heard him again last night when I was cooking supper. He sounded like it was a little he's, bit higher. He's, so he's in here somewhere. Brad said, instead of going from the bottom, let's go around he's and walk over the two. top. I heard two here last night. We saw two. I heard one, but there was another one further down. Yeah. I'm not sure if you stretched out across here. Turkey's all over. Let's go try to find me. They got them grasshoppers. Mm -hmm. the grasshopper Do you know how to locate one? No. Huh? No. What you gonna do with that? Where that call? Closed captioning for the truth provided by Final Approach. This segment of the truth is brought to you by Ozonix, Yeti, and Ceasefire. It's one of our final afternoons chasing Miriams here in New Mexico. We're headed down a big ridge, just prospecting and calling every hundred yards hoping to strike a gobble. There he is, right there, right there. Let's kill him. Just get, just get. We found him. Right we found him. That's why we haven't quite gone right. Let's get him right here. Get out of this sun. That's a good, good idea. Come on, come on. I stay up high as we get set up, about 75 yards behind and above Brad and Troy. Since these gobblers are below us, I thought it might be a better calling position to make them come up this ridge looking for me and walk right in front of the guys. Oh. Oh. 
Was that not crazy? Was that not crazy? <laughs> y'all are something else. Yeah. Y'all are some turkey killing jokes. I'm telling you, yipping at them now. Hey, we have listened to these turkeys since we've been here. Mm -hmm. And it's been one turkey gobbling, and we get up here and it's four. Yeah. Thank you for letting me borrow your game. <laughs> man, y'all, so that turkey got a beard on him, man. Brad went from an automatic to a pump. Look at that. Whew. That was, and that was what a hunt that was, too. <laughs> Good job, Wilbur. Thank Good you, buddy. Call. There's something special about being up here in the high country. Oh, yeah. Chasing these turkeys. Lake got him a turkey. Lake, I'm proud for you, buddy. Get an old big white gobbler. Man, there's nothing like killing your first Miriam. You Troy. and I both got turkeys. Troy got a turkey. Oh, man, that was a fun. This man. is going to go down as one of my favorite weeks ever chasing turkeys. That's awesome. Guys, thanks. Yes, sir. It's been a fun time. Oh, my goodness. Fun time, buddy. These mountain turkeys. I love it.